Well, hello. So one of the effective ways of enhancing our ebook is to is to make some kind of dynamic uh, action when we when we get to certain pages. So a kind of animation really, maybe make the images uh, fade in or components uh, come onto the screen gradually. And so this is what I'm going to do. This is my opening uh, screen then. So as you can see, I've got an image on the background and I've got my my title of my book, which is then which is actually separated into three. Uh, pieces of text for, for very specific reasons, as you'll see in a moment. So the first thing is then, the or I should just explain uh, though, before we move on, is that you're going to find all of these uh, aspects of uh, making an ebook enhanced or dynamic, you'll find all of those things under your uh, menu under the interactive menu. So all of these things down here that we're going to be looking at, these are all the things that we can make use of. And I do tend to have this set up for me already in my workspace, but that's where you're going to find these uh, these things, in particular the animation. So the animation I've already got open here over on the right hand side. I'm just going to select my image, my main image, and I'm going to use an animation here. Now, the first thing I need to do is to say what kind of animation do I want. And there are a number of presets, as you'll see, and I'm going to click on here. Look at all the different uh, presets that we can use. Please don't overdo it. Don't have things bouncing around or zooming out or pulsing or whatever. Just you know, be a bit, bit, bit more uh, uh, circumspect about this and, and, and try not to overdo it. I'm just simply going to fade this in. Okay, so that image fades in. Now I've got certain options, uh, like for example, how long do I want it to fade in? Uh, how do I, you know, what, uh, de is there a delay or whatever? So you've got all of these things that you can set up, but I'm just simply going to go for the basic thing. It's going to be a one second duration. However, you'll see down here, that I want to make sure that it's not visible until it fades in. So that's why I, un I tick here, hide until animated. Now, anything that you do with this type of work, um, it's very important that you have a way, unfortunately InDesign uh, will help us with this, we have a way of looking at this uh, without having to ex export to the ebook and then look at it and check that it works. So we've got this uh, ability to preview it and you'll find this preview down on the bottom left, you'll find this button. Alternatively, you'll find it under interactive Inter EPUB Interactivity Preview. Uh, so let, let's actually just select that. You may well find that this is a very small window to begin with, but I do recommend that you enlarge this. Uh, let's just bring it up onto the screen here and I'll just uh, enlarge it out a little bit. And then we just click this little play button down at the bottom left hand side. Okay. And you can hear then that I've got some music there. I'm going to come on to that a bit later. But that's just uh, that's just the way that that actually works. So it's just simply going to uh, fade up. And I'm, at the moment, I'm fading it up from black because I've got black uh, background there as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is to make the, uh, the words from the title appear on the screen. Uh, and the way that I'm going to do this then is to a, a slightly different um, animation. So I'm just going to select the first word, uh, go to my animation menu again. Um, and this time I'm going to choose a different preset. I'm going to fly this in from the top. So it's going to come in from the top. Now you can probably just see there you've got like a green line which shows you the, the path that that's going to take. But again, once again, we must make sure that we hide until animated. And as you can see, the butterfly gives us uh, an indication of what that's actually going to look like. Um, and I'm going to do the same for Island. Um, so I'm going to choose fly in from the top. Uh, and then recipes, the same again, except on this case, in this case, I'm going to fly that in from the bottom. Uh, now, the, th the thing about this is we've now got these three things happening. Let's actually just preview this. Uh, 
Okay, so as you can see, uh, it builds up like this, but uh, you know, and, that, and that's absolutely fine the way it is. But it should—it's worth pointing out that we also have uh, as an option a timing panel that allows us to adjust the time and delays between these things happening. So if I go to the timing panel, you'll see, see that there's a button to that at the bottom left of all of these panels, actually. But once again, I should actually point out that it's under interactive and timing. And you'll see in the timing panel, I'll bring that over here so you can see it a bit easier. I'm not quite sure why it's become so large, but let's just let's just shrink that down a little bit. Okay, so, so basically here you can see we've got the image, um, which starts, then the word Greek, then the word Ireland. And we can, uh, as you can see, put in a delay between each of those things as well, but I'm not going to do that right now because uh, at the moment I'm happy with the way that it works. But we will look at that uh, in a moment when we add some uh, some sound to this. <clears throat> so that 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 will be my next uh, my next task. Okay. So <clears throat> how do we then add add sound or add music, which is my, my plan? I'm going to add some music to this, uh, and the way that I do this is just the same way that we add. Uh, images. We just place the, 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 that in into our onto our page. So let's just actually remove this. I can put this out of the way as well. Let me just put it back over here. Uh, and now I'm going to go to place. And I'm now looking for my music. So I've got an MP3 file, uh, which is now the, what, what I'm going to place on here. Uh, now you'll get a message about PDF, um, but don't worry about that because this is uh, th this audio won't work in a PDF. But we're not interested in that. We're making an EPUB file. Now you'll see. I'll just do it here over on my um, on my clipboard over here. This is simply uh, the audio. So you you have to have some object which represents the audio, um, and that audio does need to be actually on the page. Although of course we will need to hide it. We want to make sure that it doesn't show. Um, and so I'm just going to put it over here for the moment. It will show initially, but that's just so that we, we get an idea of, of how it's working. Um, but we will need ultimately to hide it. Now you'll see with this audio, you've also got a media panel. And here is the, uh, here it is here. You, I don't know whether you'll be able to hear this very well, but it'll just come through the microphone. nice Greek music. Okay, so we want this to play on page load. So in other words, this will start playing uh, straight away as soon as we come to this page. Um, but we will want to use the timing menu to make sure that that appears, that starts to work at the very beginning. Uh, and again, I'm just going to go to my timing menu, which is over here. Again, bring that onto the, over here so you can see it a bit clearer. Um, and as you can see, the Greek music MP3 is the last thing, but we actually want this to start playing right away. Uh, and I'm just going to move it up to the top. It does need jiggering about here. Okay, so that's now at the top. Um, and we don't really want any delay. Now, just a word of warning about this, though. When you do have music or audio, you might need to edit it if it has a, a slight delay at the beginning. So do open the MP3 up in um, Audacity to see if there is a uh, any delay at all, because you don't want this to be delayed. You want this to happen an instantly as soon as uh, people come to this page. Um, and if you like, we can just have a quick look at that. Ah, there is one thing that we need to do. We need to use this uh, document mode over on the right hand side because otherwise it won't load the audio. So let's just do that again. It takes a little bit of longer, longer because then it's loading up all the information. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> but as you can see, we've got, at the moment we've got the, um, uh, the, 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 this audio is showing uh, a controller and we don't want that to be showing at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover that over <clears throat> with a white box. So I'm going to make, uh, just simply make a box and put that over the top of that and then make that white like that. Um, and then what I need to do is to put this uh, right at the back. So I'm going to my object arrange 
send to the back uh, and then this is my audio and I'm going to now send this right to the back. So we should find that we've got, if you like, in the layers and we can actually have a look at the layers uh, over here, you'll see that we've got the music on the at the bottom, then we've got a rectangle sitting, a white rectangle sitting on the top of it. Uh, let's just have one more look at this. Once again, it doesn't play unless you click this button over on the right hand side because it needs to load that up. OK, so here we go. OK, so we weren't going to listen to all this music. Now, the, the, the other thing is um, that when you've got something like this, it is much more user friendly uh, to give people the option of stopping the music or pausing the music. I mean, particularly if it's a long piece of music and you don't want this to be uh, to be playing. I mean, after all, uh, you know, if we're in the kitchen and we we're just going to get on and, and make the recipes, we might have this sitting here. We don't want it necessarily to keep playing the music. So we do have to make a way of uh, um, stopping that from happening by pausing the music. So here's what I'm going to do then is I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to add a button to this to make that happen. And the way that we do this is let's just get rid of that again. I'm going to play. So I've already prepared this. And you're, what you'll need to do is to um, is to have a look at, um, you know, just go to um, Google and do a search for some uh, play buttons and so on. So I'm just going to drop this down here. I'm going to make it much, much smaller. So now we don't need all of these buttons, but we do need uh, at least two of them. So let's see, that's a probably about the right size, although of course I can always adjust this later. So let's just put it over here on the on, on this side over here, and I'm going to make a copy of that, so, so that I've got two copies of it, like that. Um, and then what I'm going to do first of all is to just crop this out so that I, let's actually just zoom in a bit here, I'm cropping that out there so that I've just got that pause button. Uh, bring that down to here. Okay, and then I only want then this play button in the middle. And again, let's just try to make this exactly the same size. Okay, like that. Now we do need to put these uh, onto the page. So I'm going to bring them over to here. We may want to arrange the position in, in, in a moment, but let's just, let's just put them there for the moment so we can really see them. Now we're going to first of all change these into buttons. Now the first one that we're going to work on is the pause button. So this is now going to become a button. We need our button panel over here, and I'm turning this into a button. I'll give it a name. This is our, our pause button. Um, and when we click it or tap it on a, on a, on a, on a phone or a, 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 an ebook e reader, uh, what do we want to happen? We click this little plus button. And what we want to happen is that a, an, an audio, uh, we want to go to sound, and we want an, the audio that's on this page. It knows about that. We're going to now pause this. Uh, and that, that'll do for the moment. Uh, we're going to come back to this button in a second. But we're now going to go to this button. Uh, and we're going to make this into a button. And we're going to call this play. Now we want this play button to do something to the sound. But we actually want it to resume rather than to play. That's because once we start, once we pause it, we want it to, to, to carry on playing from where we left off. So that means we, we use resume. Now, um, we want this button to not be on the screen when we are uh, come to the page, because in our particular case, we've decided that we want the music to start automatically. If you decide that you don't want the music to start automatically, you want people to invoke the music by play, hitting the play button from the beginning, then you wouldn't necessarily hide this button. But we are going to hide this button. So in other words, it's hidden until it gets triggered. That means it won't be there when we first come to this. Um, but what we want to happen is we want 
when this is available to us, we click it and it will play, but it will also reveal the pause button. So I'm going to add another action to this, which is to show, uh, going to the show hide button section. And I want this to show the pause button by clicking this little thing until the eye appears. But I want to hide myself. So I'm clicking that until I have a line through the eye. So this means that when I click this, it's going to show the pause button, but it's also going to hide itself. And of course, it's going to resume the audio. Now, what we need to do is the, is the opposite. We want to go to our pause button. The pause button, of course, is going to pause the audio. But what we want it to do is we want it to um, hide itself. So I'm going to put a line through the eye, but it's going to show the play button. Now that should all work, but obviously we, we still need something else to do in a moment. Let's actually give it a try. And uh, we will actually need to invoke that and, and do that again because it won't work otherwise. Right, so you should, should be seeing here the music, but we've got the pause button and that pauses it, but it also shows the play button and that plays it again. So as you can see, they, 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 they do actually function. However, what we need to do is we need to put these one on top of the other. Actually, just let me, let me move them into a, a, a reasonably sensible place here. Let's just, uh, Let's just come out a bit. Uh, what am I doing here? Ah, oh, yeah, here we are. Okay, so let's um, let's get rid of that annoying message again, and we'll just move these uh, down to the bottom left-hand side. And uh, as I say, I'm going to move this one on top of this one. Okay, so that at least it, 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 it should, we, we might need to adjust it, but that's fine. Now there's just one more thing to do, and we need to go to our timing menu for this. So we go back to our timing menu, which I've got over here. Oh, I haven't actually anymore. I seem to have taken it away. Okay, so now you can see in our timing menu, um, we've got, um, we've got our, our items here, but what we need to do now is we need to make sure that our pause button um, appears uh, once everything else has built up. <laughs> so in other words, we're going back to our buttons here. Let's just move that out of the way again, because uh, I need to uh, address this button and I need to make sure that this has some animation on it. So I'm going to my animation and I'm just allowing that to simply fade in. Um, and I want that to be hidden until animated. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll go back to our, uh, this is our, our, our general sort of screen, and you can see over on my timing menu, I've now got the pause button at the end, um, and that pause button will, then, will not be on the screen until everything else is built up, and I can even have a slight delay for that to appear. Just to, let's just exaggerate it a little bit. Uh, okay, let's now go back to here. And we'll now give this a try. Right, let's try again. And the pause button appears. And then the play button appears once we click it. So there we have it. So we've got our animation, we've got our uh, audio, we've got our buttons to control the audio. So I hope that's helped everybody uh, in showing you ways of making things a little bit dynamic and hopefully a little bit more compelling.